Hey guys, I'm Mallory. And I'm Mr. Talbert. And we're going to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, you know, the relationship between teacher and student is a, is a very unique relationship. Uh, often, a lot of you spend more time with your teachers than you do your own parents. And just like you get discouraged with how your parents treat you sometimes, students get discouraged with how teachers treat them. You know, it's a very um, uh, relationship that has a lot of uh, interesting factors to it. Uh, so what we did is we went and interviewed teachers and students to try to find out what it is about that relationship that causes discouragement and how we can be uh, better for each other in that kind of relationship. Uh, we interviewed the students first, right? Yeah, and so whenever we went around and asked them what discourages the most that their teachers do to them, it's a lot of them said um, sarcastic comments and treating them like they're babies or just like dumbing the class down for them. So that particularly discouraged them and here's what they had to say about that. I'm too stupid to understand a concept so they have to dumb it down so bad that you know it's like doesn't make sense basically. Yeah I feel like that discourages students from actually asking questions what they want to know when they feel like they're going to be stupid for asking it. Um, rejected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes me feel like I don't matter, basically. All right, wow. Uh, I'm actually very guilty of sarcastic comments to students, and uh, sometimes when questions are asked, I have to remember that I'm uh, molding the minds of, of young people, and I, I need to, to work on that. So for any student that I've done it to, I, I apologize, and I, I definitely need to work on that. Have you ever had that happen? Definitely, that yeah, definitely. I've had teachers who I've asked a serious question that I think I need help with, but then they just brush it off because they think it's common knowledge, like everybody should know that, so that makes me feel like I'm too stupid to be in the class or that I'm too stupid to get a genuine response. So, But also I'm sure that teachers get discouraged too in some ways. Absolutely, teachers get discouraged. And one of the things that teachers get discouraged by is being treated as the enemy, you know, because uh, students sometimes can be, have this uh, anti-establishment attitude of, you know, everybody that's here as an adult is, is bad and we're all out to get you. Uh, when really that's that's not the case. We all really want you to succeed and, and do well. Uh, here's what some of our teachers had to say about that. No teacher anywhere comes to work thinking, I just want to ruin a student's day. We're here to encourage you, to guide you through, and it, it is kind of painful when students see us as an enemy and not as someone who can guide them, you know, as a mentor or someone who's simply trying to educate them about the world. Hey, just tell me hello. Just come by and say hello. Maybe give me one of these. I don't know. <laughs> just come by and say hey. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, sometimes I do the same thing and forget that teachers also have feelings just like students because sometimes it seems like, you know, maybe they're just harping on the rules or something, but you know, we need to remember that they also have feelings and we can do stuff to discourage them too. Right, I mean, the, the rules are there because that's, I mean, that's life. I mean, rules are everywhere. Uh, we're training you guys to be adults. So when we're encouraging you to follow the rules, it's because whenever you become an adult, you have rules to follow too or you end up in jail. Uh, so we want you guys to succeed. And that's actually another kind of leads into the second thing that discourages teachers a lot or, or the feedback we got was that when students don't work to their full potential, they, they can be successful. They're just like stifling that and not really trying their best. Here's what a couple of our teachers had to say. Potential, I find that particularly discouraging because I try to give 100% in the classroom. And so when they are not at least meeting me, um, then that's, I find that pretty discouraging because I see that potential and they do too, but we're not meeting it together. It's just frustrating that they don't see the part that they played in it. But it's not all bad. There is positivity in this relationship. So we need to learn from the discouraging factors of it and you know, try to encourage one another. And some of the students said they felt particularly encouraged was whenever teachers actually let them fail. Yeah, and it seems kind of weird. Uh, I, I saw a TED Talk uh, a while back where uh, the speaker was saying that that's one of the big disservices that teachers, that we do to students is that we're not letting them fail. We're not letting you fail and build you up from that experience and learn from your your bad experience usually when something bad happens or you fail we we really you know harp on you and say no that was bad you never should have done that when it's like okay you made a mistake now how do we fix it and and grow from it and and the students actually express that themselves that when i fail and the teacher works with me and builds me up that makes a, a huge difference and here's what the students had to say about that. Well, it's something I feel like that gives me a chance to realize, wow, I don't know this. And 
they help you through the failure. It's not like you just fall flat on your face and then they don't try to pick you back up. A good teacher picks you back up and tries, like, after you fail to help you. Really positive in reinforcement, and I'm getting really good life advice in my second blog. Yeah, so they're, like, helpful? Yeah, very helpful. Something else those teachers do that's uh, really encouraging to me especially is one-on-one -on -one instruction. And so whenever they come to me and like me and my friends, I've, they'd say this too, um, whenever they come and help you out specifically and like what you need to work on to try to help you grow in this learning environment and give you future advice and everything. So that definitely helps me in my learning experience. Yeah, and that's something that's, that's difficult for teachers to do. Um, you know, when we're in a classroom of uh, one to 25 is a, is a healthy r ratio of what they would set, say one teacher per 25 students. But some cases it's more like one teacher to 30 students, you know, and it's really difficult for a teacher to take the time to work with you one-on-one -on -one and then make sure that the rest of the class isn't destroying uh, what's in the classroom. So, so when a teacher does take time to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, I, I can see that. I can see that that being very encouraging, make you feel special and, and, and valued. Uh, here's what one of our other students had to say about that. Um, well, some of my teachers, they take time out of their day to sit down and actually go through stuff that I don't understand, especially when I don't understand their teaching style completely. So they'll sit me down and actually like try to work on their um, lesson plans to make sure they fit all their students. I said, so just like students are encouraged by things that teachers do, teachers get encouraged by things that students do. And one of the things that we found out when we interviewed was that teachers really like when students take pride in their education and are uh, happy about success in class. You know, making good grades and being proud of that good grade and, you know, being visited by former students. I know I like that. When a, when a student comes back that's graduated and remembers my name, uh, remembers my classroom, that's, that's huge. That, that means a lot. And so here's what some of the teachers had to say. When I see success and students begin to kind of open up when they realize, oh, I can do this, it, that's encourage, that encourages me. I mean, that, that gets me through the tough days. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of young people here at Baker High School that are towing the line and doing a great job. It's encouraging every day to see students that want to achieve the next step in their life. And I love it. Something else the teachers uh, felt encouraged by was their adi students' attitude in the classroom and being able to laugh and have fun and their personality being shown in the classroom along with learning, which I think makes it a really good environment for both the teacher and the student because like, when their personality is coming out and like, they're able to put that into their work and so is the teacher, so it just makes it really comfortable in that relationship, more solid. Yeah, and it's, it's a fine line too, right, because with, uh, with all of our personalities are different. So when we tell a student, you know, hey, we really show your personality. Well, if your personality is really abrasive, you know, that, <laughs> that can be a difficult. But, you know, these positive things uh, in class, like laugh. You know, if something's funny, laugh. Uh, you know, if the teacher cracks a joke and it's really corny, <laughs> Give them, give them a sympathy laugh, you know, and just being yourself a little bit. Be, you know, uh, good morning to the teacher when you're, when you're coming in. You know, if you're bubbly with your friends, be bubbly with your teacher. I mean, it's just try to be yourself uh, and just, you know, continue to, to build that relationship a little bit more. But uh, here's what a couple of our teachers had to say. Classroom, I really like to, you know, have fun with my kids just as much as um, we learn. I, I drive hard, like we, we go hard in the paint, but we also have a good time in the classroom. And so that I find that really encouraging. If I'm laughing and having a good time and we're learning, that's an A plus day. Any type of gratitude is super encouraging. So it makes you feel like appreciated? Oh yeah, absolutely. And that's all we have today, um, but from this we learned a lot of things about the teacher-student relationship and something that I'm going to remember from this experience is definitely to remember the teacher's feelings in all cases and remember like how much work they really do put into us and in trying to help us succeed. Right, and, and for me, I, I think it, it really hit home that I am really sarcastic with students. Those of you that have had my class, I can be pretty sarcastic and I don't really, sometimes I feel like you guys are all teenagers and you're tough and you can handle it, um, but I need to kind of take a step back and realize that, okay, you guys are, you have feelings too, uh, even though you're teenagers <laughs> and, you know, you, uh, you can get your feelings hurt and that can change the whole course of a day, you know, just somebody getting discouraged, especially in first block. Yeah. Like imagine, you know, yeah. something bad happening in first block. Even, a, you know, you're walking into the classroom or, or you're coming in and I say, good morning, Mallory, and 
And you say nothing, you just walk <laughs> past me. That changes the whole course of, of a teacher's day. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it does the whole course Definitely, of a yeah, student's day yeah. if we're, you know. Yeah, if we come in and they just don't acknowledge us walking in the room or something, that makes me feel like, oh, like they don't even want to be here. I, why do I want to be here? So. Right. Okay, so it's cool. I, I hope that uh, it was definitely a learning experience for oh, us. I yeah, uh, hope it was a learning experience for you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and you know maybe you can put some of these things uh, into practice. Yeah. All right. See you guys later.